Hi, I'm Paul Torgerson. It's Wednesday, July 6th, 2022, and this is a look at the information security news from overnight. From Portswigger, a critical spell injection vulnerability has been patched in Spring Data Mongo database. The 9.8 severity bug could be exploited to achieve remote code execution. First.org has ranked the flaw among the top 10 CVEs likely to be used in the wild over the last 30 days. The ease of exploitation and the number of proof of concepts available will likely make this vulnerability very popular. Get your patch on, kids. From the Hacker News, the operators of the Hive ransomware have completely rewritten the malware, moving from the Go language to Rust. This gains them the benefit of memory safety and deeper control over low-level resources, as well as making use of a wide range of cryptographic libraries. It also makes it more difficult to reverse engineer. These changes continue to show how Hive is one of the fastest evolving ransomware families out there. From ZDNet, four more Android apps have been removed from the Google Play Store after it was discovered they were being used to deliver the Joker malware to smartphones. The apps, which have over 100,000 downloads between them, are Smart SMS Messages, Blood Pressure Monitor, Voice Language Translator, and Quick Text SMS. They join at least 11 other apps that have been removed recently for the same issue. Details in the article. From Bleeping Computer, Microsoft has confirmed that they silently patched the Shadow Coerce vulnerability as part of their June 2022 updates. They say the vuln was mitigated along with CVE 2022-3054 because they both affect the same component. The question is, why have they not yet publicly provided any details or even assigned a CVE ID? Strange actions for a vulnerability of this magnitude. No clarification yet from Redmond. And last today from the Hacker News. Malicious actors have been observed abusing Brute Retail C4, a relatively new and quite sophisticated toolkit designed to avoid detection by EDR and AV capabilities. BRC4 is a customized command and control center for red team and adversary simulation. Evidently, the bad guys thought it was ready for prime time. The bad guys in this case probably being APT29 or Cozy Bear. You may remember them from the SolarWinds supply chain attack last year. That's all for me today. Have a great rest of your day. Like and subscribe. And until tomorrow, be safe out there.